Good morning, everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing another alcohol ink piece. I have uh, my Yupo paper here, and then I also have my gloves, I have my rubbing alcohol, and then I also have um, some new alcohol inks that I got. Um, these are from a set of 24 from Picasso. I have Sunset, Marigold, and Ruby, so I'm using some nice yellows and uh, yellow, orange, and red. And then I also have a new blowing tool. Um, you just squeeze on it and it blows out some air. Uh, so I'm going to try that on my piece today. <clears throat> and then I also have my um, cordless airbrush, which I've been really enjoying using. Um, I like the airflow with this and it seems to work out really well. And then I also have my gloves. If I didn't, oh, I did already show those. Never mind. Okay. So I haven't fully decided how I want this to look. If I want to try do more, uh, make something that looks like flowers or um, something just a little bit more abstract. But I'm just going to start pouring my alcohol ink. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more careful than I was with my last one with all of the blues where I just put alcohol everywhere. Um, so this one I'm going to try and do smaller amounts at a time and just get a really pretty design. And I'm just going to add a little bit of every color. This marigold color is really pretty. It's, I'm finding that for my art pieces, I'm enjoying colors that I don't normally enjoy for like clothing or things like that. I wear a lot of blacks and grays and whites and for my paintings I'm enjoying a lot of really bright bold colors so this is kind of fun. Switch it up a little bit. I'm just gonna dry the colors a little bit with my airbrush and then start adding some of my rubbing alcohol. I'm going to try this tool for a little bit and just see what that does. I'm just going to turn my piece a little bit and just continue working on this. I'm just slowly adding small portions of my rubbing alcohol and then blowing out my colors. And this is just a really fun kind of abstracty piece. This one really gives your hand a workout. <laughs> I think I like my airbrush, but this is kind of fun too because you also have quite a bit of control over uh, your airflow. 
And so I know sometimes that airbrush can just kind of blow your colors everywhere. So this gives you a little bit more control over um, what's going on on your canvas. Or in my case, my Yupo paper. I'm just dropping a little bit more color. Um, I like these really hard lines that I have right in there of the really dark color. So I'm going to try and get a little bit more of that. Um, and I may just pull out my airbrush again to um, try and get that to occur because I believe that's just the, the alcohol ink is just stopping and drying really quickly in those areas. So I'm just gonna work on this a little bit more. Um, right in this middle area, I'm going to try and leave it nice and dark. And then along these edges, get those really nice wispy areas and have it go darker to lighter. Uh, so far, I'm really liking this. I think that airbrush is working really well for me to not uh, overwork it or overdo it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add any more alcohol ink at this point. I'm just going to use my rubbing alcohol to um, just keep on working on these outer edges and then I will stop. I do kind of want to add some gold embellishment to this, but I don't have any more of my um, uh, blending solution that worked so well for me in my previous one. So I may just sit on this for a couple of days until I get that uh, medium and then I may try to add very small details of gold on here. Again, I don't want to overdo it, um, but I do like that little bit of embellishment. Um, one thing I am noticing, if you make a mistake, you can take just a little bit of the rubbing alcohol and wipe it right off. I had a few splatters um, 
just right at the top here. And then I had, um, in this area, I had a bunch of yellow that I didn't really like, that marigold. Um, so I just added extra rubbing alcohol and I was able to wipe it right off. So it's fairly forgiving. Um, if you make a mistake, you can always add a little bit more color. You can um, probably use some paint brushes and um, remove color that way in areas that you don't like or try blending. Uh, I know I have seen some people use like the silicone catalyst wedges and paint brushes and other tools with this. So I think it definitely has a lot of potential and I am really, really enjoying uh, working with these as just a completely different medium than just sticking with acrylic paints. Uh, I do have ideas for some mixed media pieces with some fluid acrylics and alcohol inks. So I will be trying those in the future and we'll see what I can come up with. But that is my piece so far. I really like this one. I will get some nice up close shots. Again, like I said, I do want to add some gold. I don't want to ruin it. So hopefully I can get some nice gold details in there. And then this one I think is one that I will definitely be keeping. Um, I will get some wood pieces to glue this onto and then save it. So if you'd like to see that in another video, how you can adhere this to some wood and then resin it, I can always show that but I don't want to um, make a video on that if no one's interested. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post three videos a week and I will see you in the next one.